Hi everybody, welcome to this brand new edition of our Made for YouTube series. I'm Sumera Abdi and I'm going to try and explain the systematic withdrawal plan today so we can, you know, try and learn together about how exactly the systematic withdrawal plan works, what it is, how can it be optimized, uh, what are the tax angles, you know, how does it compare with other products and towards the end uh, we'll also, uh, you know, have a step-by-step -step, uh, example or a case study of how you can set up the systematic withdrawal plan uh, for your own retirement and you know that would be uh, probably one of the best uses for it and a lot of people have been asking uh, you know how to actually uh, organize an SWP for their retirement goals so let's get started right so a systematic withdrawal plan is linked to a mutual fund right um, now when do you want to withdraw which is when your goal has been achieved right so if you're uh, say uh, you know investing to buy a house or investing for your retirement or you know any such goal that you have so you keep collecting money via SIP or the systematic investment plan into your mutual fund. Now it's time to take that money out because you've reached your goal, right? So one is that you can take it out in a lump sum. The other way is that, you know, you might want a regular income. You might want a monthly income, a bi-monthly income, you know, uh, depends on how you want to look at it. In this way, when you have a regular income or when you have an investment, you have to take it all together, you have to take it all together. Usme systematic withdrawal plan uh, aapki help karta hai. To jisme aap ek phased withdrawal kar sakte hai. You don't have to take it out lump sum. Aapko ek jut sara paisa nahi nikalna hai. Aap usko dheere dheere karke nikal sakte hai. So that you can, you know, uh, once again there is no volatility. Uh, right? It will phase it out. Second is that you can withdraw as per your requirement. Aapko kitna paisa chahiye har mahine. Now, the problem is that if you go for a tailor-made plan, right? Jo pension plans hote hai ya uh, jo bhi regular income ke products hain usme aapko bol diya jayega ki theek hai aapne x amount diya hai ab aapko har mahine hum y amount wapas karenge but you may say that my requirement is y plus 5 you know or y minus 10 whatever your requirement may be so in the systematic withdrawal plan you can actually customize it agar aapko sirf 10000 rupaye mahine chahiye aapko 5000 chahiye aapko 50000 chahiye all that customization can be done in the systematic withdrawal plan. So what are its big advantages? One of course is that you know the cash flow is customized. You can time your withdrawal to actually suit your requirement, right? Uh, you don't have to withdraw it a year in advance. You can actually plan it and set it up uh, to time or to coincide with your goal, your requirements, what is your need. And it is you know uh, probably one of the most tax efficient uh, you know methods of earning a regular income what are the other methods like you can take a bank FD uh, there you have TDS which you have to pay tax deducted at source however uh, in a systematic withdrawal plan as you withdraw the units you will have to pay short-term capital gains long-term capital gains depending on how long that unit has been in existence and uh, you know especially for something like a retirement we'll actually show how you can optimize that as well so if you do the calculation, you will find that systematic withdrawal plan is a way where tax efficiency is very much. Even if you compare it to a pension plan, you'll see that uh, the mutual fund, jo, uh, you know, uh, debt fund or equity fund ka jo taxation is very competitive. Lagega. Now, how does a SWP actually work? So, as we talked about, this is a mutual fund uh, ka, uh, you know, tarika hai to take out money. The other way is, by the way, you know, you can have a dividend uh, option, right? But there is a reason it's not working out. One is, of course, the high taxation. The second is, a dividend may not always be available uh, for a mutual fund, you know, to give out. So you cannot always rely that I will get dividend income. Milti rahegi. SWP is uh, a such जो जब आपने डिजाइन कर दिया आपने बना दिया एक तो आपको विजिबिलिटी है कि मुझे कितने साल तक कितने महीनों तक पैसा मिलता रहेगा एंड ऊपर से आपको ये अश्योरिटी है कि मेरी ही SWP है उसमें से मुझे ये इनकम मिलती ही रहेगी राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सपोज एट द बिगिनिंग यू हैव 10000 यूनिट्स राइट दिस इज योर कैपिटल योर कॉर्पस टू बिगिन विद नाउ यू हैव डिसाइडेड दैट एवरी मंथ यू वांट 5000 रुपीस as an income now for the ease of explanation and simplicity i'm choosing round numbers and i'm choosing easy numbers so that it's you know easily understood so you want to take out 5000 rupees every month now suppose the first month that you uh, are taking out money your nav is 10 rupees right 
सो दैट मीन्स कि आपका जो ये ओरिजिनल इन्वेस्टमेंट है टेन थाउजेंड इसमें से आपको अगर फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज़ चाहिए रिमेंबर दिस इज यूनिट्स दिस इज रुपीज़ सो दिस मीन्स दैट फाइव हंड्रेड यूनिट्स राइट फाइव थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई टेन विल गिव यू फाइव हंड्रेड यूनिट्स आर गोइंग आउट तो आपके जो ये दस हज़ार यूनिट थे इसमें से पाँच सौ यूनिट आपने पहले महीने में विदड्रॉ कर लिए हैं सो so नाउ आपके पास बाकी क्या बचा नाइन So 10,000 units minus the 500. This is the same, right? This is the same. The 500 units that you have taken out will give you 9,500. And because the prevailing NAV is 10 rupees, so this means that आपके पास 95,000 है, right? So जो पहले आपका एक लाख का कॉपर्स था, उसमें से आपने 5,000 निकाल लिया, तो अब आपके पास बचे हैं 95,000. But Because it is a SWP, I'll tell you why you should always uh, look at it in terms of units and not rupees, right? This is not the important factor here. This is what is the important factor here, right? I'll tell you why. Because जो NAV 10 rupees की थी, the 10 rupee NAV is not always going to remain 10, right? NAV keeps changing. In fact, uh, one of the things that the mutual fund industry prides itself on is that they have daily NAV and it is published without delay. So, जो in the last example you saw that the NAV was 10. Now, in the second month, the NAV has become 25, right? So, the original kitty where you had 10,000 units that became 9,500. Now, you still want 5,000 rupees, right? Because that's what you have decided that हर महीने मुझे 5,000 rupees ही चाहिए. So, 5,000 is the money that you need to withdraw. 25 is the NAV this month. So, this means. This month you are at an advantage. आपको सिर्फ 200 सौ यूनिट्स निकालने पड़ेंगे पिछले महीने आपने पाँच सौ यूनिट निकाले इस बार आपने सिर्फ टू हंड्रेड यूनिट्स निकाले हैं क्योंकि आपकी एन ए वी बढ़ चुकी है एंड यू नो दिस इज़ अ कॉन्सेप्ट विच वर्क वेरी वेल इन अ राइजिंग मार्केट जब मार्केट या शेयर बाजार चढ़ रहा होता है बढ़ रहा होता है तब इसमें बहुत फ़ायदा होता है क्योंकि आपके कम से कम यूनिट्स में आप आ, उतना ही अमाउंट निकाल सकते हैं So now from 9,500 you have taken out 200 units. This is the same. So minus 200 means that you are now left with 9,300 units, right? At the rate of 25, this means that your current corpus is 2,32,000 odd. आपको याद है कि पिछले महीने आपका जो total collection था उसकी value थी सिर्फ 95,000 क्योंकि NAV थी 10 रुपए. This month, because the NAV has risen to 25, your entire investment is now worth over two uh, lakh thirty thousand odd rupees. So this means that you know, compared to a pension fund or compared to any other uh, uh, method by which you can get uh, monthly income, your corpus also keeps growing, right? And we'll see that you know, in a, especially in say something like a retirement, right, which would uh, for most people be very long term, ten years, fifteen years away, twenty years away. So for a period that long, perhaps the best investment could be in an equity fund from which you later take out money via SWP, which also keeps growing. So there is a lot more appreciation that you have. Now this is the positive side that your NAV had increased. It can also happen कि आपकी NAV गिर सकती है, right? So पहले महीने आपकी NAV थी 10, second month आपकी NAV थी 25 रुपए. इस महीने आपकी एन ए वी घट के आठ रुपये हो गई है राइट बिकॉज इट कैन मूव इन एवरी डिरेक्शन बट यू स्टिल नीड टू टेक आउट ओनली फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज सो फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज डिवाइडेड बाई एन ए वी ऑफ एट मीन्स दैट दिस मंथ यू आर टेकिंग आउट सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव यूनिट्स फर्स्ट मंथ यू टू कॉट फाइव हंड्रेड यूनिट्स सेकेंड मंथ यू टू कॉट टू हंड्रेड यूनिट्स दिस मंथ यू आर टेकिंग आउट सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव यूनिट्स बिकॉज यूर एन ए वी हैज गॉन डाउन टू एट रुपीज So this means that 9,300 is your kitty uh, in the third month starting. You have taken out 625 units for your SWP. So you are now left with 8,675 units, which, when you multiply by the NAV, which is eight, you will get a value of only 69,400 rupees. So this means that the market ka utar chadhav hai, the volatility in the market will also reflect in your original corpus in your capital. and this is something uh, uh, you know which in the short term may look very very dicey but over the long term you'll see uh, that you know uh, what experts say that the long term trend is always up right so let's see what is therefore the final takeaway is that when your nav is high you have to sell fewer units less units 
right? So in a rising market, you will sell less units, fewer units. In a falling market, you will sell more units. So the higher your NAV, the less the units you sell. The lower the NAV, the more the units that you have to sell. This is a practical application of a systematic withdrawal plan. Now, let me tell you how you can best use it for retirement. Now, this is a case study. Again, I have used, you know, very simple uh, uh, examples and uh, rounded figures, you know, just to be able to get the message across. So, the, what is the first thing that you want to do for retirement? Anyone, all of us, right? Um, when we think of planning for a retirement, we say that, you know what, I'm going to find an equity fund, okay, which is the vehicle in this case, and I'm going to start investing money in it. Okay, now for the ease of calculation, I have assumed uh, that I have 10 lakh rupees, which are currently, uh, you know, are, are already invested. Now, in a practical application, you will see that your SIP will be running, right? Right till the very end. Now, isme it's very difficult for me to calculate, you know, to have monthly SIPs over a period of 10 years. I'm just taking a rounded number, but you'll get the drift of what I'm saying, right? So you have 10 lakh, suppose, which is invested in an equity fund. And you're planning for a retirement which is 20 years away, right? So for the first 17 years of the 20-year plan, you'll put this money in an equity fund, which is your vehicle. This also, you must align it to your risk profile, right? Some people may want to put it, uh, you know, in a more aggressive variety. So align it. Uh, therefore, I've not mentioned which is the equity plan. You find an equity fund that works for you, invest that money there, right? So 10 lakh rupees, invested in an equity fund for 17 years, the first 17 years of your 20 year plan. And this I'm assuming is earning 10%. Now in most likelihood over a 10 year plan, you'll get a better uh, CAGR, but uh, anyway, let's suffice it with 10%. Therefore, at the end of the 17th year, the money that you will collect is almost 50 lakhs. So your 10 lakhs has grown to 50 lakhs. So this is the stage in which you're planning for your retirement, right? So this is the growth stage uh, of your uh, plan. So over here, it has already become over 50 lakhs. Now, in the 17th year, you move the money from the equity uh, corpus that you have collected, which was 10 lakhs, which has grown to over 50 lakhs. And this becomes the base uh, of investment here, right? So you move it to any short duration bond fund for a period of three years. And why three years? You know, if you have a 20 year retirement plan, I have divided it into 17 years for equity and three years uh, for this stage is so that at the end of three years, uh, you can actually uh, get the benefit of long term uh, capital gains with indexation, right? Uh, a Almost every expert that you speak to will tell you that as you uh, are closer or nearer to the completion of your goal, you should shift the money from equity to debt. So this is exactly what we're doing over here is that because 17 years are over, your retirement is now only three years away. Therefore, we are moving that money to debt. Some experts may choose to move it in the 18th year, the 19th year. In this example, we have chosen the 17th year so that whatever money is there in the debt fund also will get you the benefit of uh, you know long term capital gains tax with indexations that's why uh, it has been uh, you know designed like this now this money which is in the short duration bond fund is also earning this money i'm assuming is earning say 6% per annum and not the 10% uh, so for a period of three years, the 50 lakhs that you have in a short duration bond fund will probably become uh, something close to about 60 odd lakhs, right? This 60 odd lakhs is what uh, you will retire with. So at the end of the 20th year, your 10 lakh rupees has become 60 lakh, right? Now, how do you set up your SWP? This is where the SWP will happen. You'll probably approach uh, the mutual fund or the AMC where you have uh, this investment ongoing and you'll tell them, you know what, now I want to start a SWP or a systematic withdrawal plan. So over here, uh, you have uh, the 60 odd lakhs that you have collected so far and you now decide that, okay, I'm retiring today. I need this money, the 60 lakhs to last me the next 20 years, right? So say you've retired at 60, you want this money now to last for the next 20 years till you're 80. Here as well, I'm assuming that the rate of return is 6% because the money continues in the short duration bond fund, right? We're no longer in the equity fund. Now the money has been moved in the 17th year to the short duration bond fund. And this is where it's continuing, right? So your money 
even if you keep withdrawing from 60 lakhs, say every month you're withdrawing 10,000, 20,000, whatever it is, the remaining money is also growing. Like we saw in that example of um, the SWP, that you're taking out units, but the balance unit also are growing at 6%, right? So over the course of these 20 years, the money that you would get from your SWP is not 60 lakhs. Over the course of 20 years, you would have actually gotten something close to 1.2 crores. So, jo apne SWP banaya tha, jisme aapke shuruat mein 60 lakh rupees the, lekin ye nahi hai ki aapke retirement, matlab 60 se 80 saal tak ki umar tak aapko sirf ye 60 lakh rupees milenge. Agar ye paisa short duration bond fund mein continue hota hai, jisme 6% maine mana hai rate of growth hai compounded, to ye जो आपके 60 लाख हैं, ये आपके रिटायरमेंट के 20 साल में, not the planning stage, the consumption stage, जहाँ पे आप ये पैसा कंज्यूम कर रहे हैं, उन 20 साल में, at the end of the 20th year, you will find that you have actually consumed about 1.21 crore rupees, which is what double of what you had started off with. So this is the benefit of uh, the systematic withdrawal plan and this is how it actually works and in my opinion and you know a lot of the experts that I have spoken to also say that it is a far more efficient way of actually planning to get regular income uh, from various sources. So thanks very much for watching. I hope uh, you know this concept is now clear and if there are any more questions do write into the comments section. I look forward to reading all of them. Thanks very much for watching.